Hello, people. Um, yesterday, I went partying, right? I went with a couple of friends. I went with a friend called Gustav, which is like one of the my first friends here in France, and Max, which is a friend from school. And it went really good. I had a good time. But today I woke up at freaking 11 a.m. Almost half the day was gone by the time I woke up. And it it got me thinking, like, the concept of partying as a teenager. Is it, like, what should we do, you know? Like, should we party? Should we not party? Should we, I don't know, how, how, it 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 created a mental not a a psychological fight in my mind about parting and i have no idea what to think about it because in one side you know you always hear oh you're a teenager you should be partying of course it's incredible you're young enjoy it you always hear this, but the smartest people I know, they never party. And the most successful people I know, they never party at all. They only work. But should we actually party or not? The, the thing I hate the most about partying is this part. I wake up the next, the next day it's gone. It's non-existent because you wake up at freaking 11, 12, 1 p.m. You wake up super late. The whole day is gone. And that bothers me a lot. I hate that. I really, I don't like it at all. Um, but on the other hand, there's some things that I, I think I quite enjoy about partying, like meeting new people. Yesterday I went to a with a party of with Gustav. I went to the like it was like a university party of Gustav, you know. It was Gustav's university. Gustav is studying architecture, right? So I went to a party with the people from their, from his university. And I met some really cool people. I met some really cool French architects that in my freaking life I would have met them if I didn't go party with Gustav, you know? So on that part, it it creates a big contradiction in my mind because you're wasting time, which is your most valuable asset because you're destroying one day of your life. You're just throwing it straight into the trash can but you're meeting people, which is practically another really, another really important part of your life, your relationships with the world, with other people, with other students. So should we be partying? Should, should we be partying, you know, or not? So in the advantages you have meeting people, so you can say networking, and in that occasion, I think there's nothing else like partying because that's what partying is for. If you think about it, it's just meeting people because you're not going to party alone. You never party alone. You, when you party, you party with other people just to have a good time with those people and connect with those people. But you you lose time and you you throw straight into trash one day of your life well not not even one day practically there's two or three days that are affected because the day you actually party that day you don't sleep then so that day it's gone because you're literally partying so you're not working you're partying so day one it's gone then the next day you're gonna wake up at freaking 11 a.m., 12 or 1 p.m. So that's that's gone as well because you don't take advantage of the morning. By the time you should be eating lunch, you're eating breakfast and getting out of bed. And 
that's that's fucked up that's screwed but and and the next day since the last day was so horrendous you have to make up for it for that horrendous day so it's like almost three days that are affected in a way for you going partying one night Mm. but you know meeting people is really cool like that that's one of the coolest parts of life just meeting other people and that's something i priv privated myself to the la this last semester of university i didn't go party once i became a slave and i hated it i just spent all my time in the freaking library like a freaking nerd or a slave. It, it's a modern type of slavery. It's just spending all your time in, in the library. Not human connections whatsoever, just in a library, studying and studying and studying and being a nerd. And I hated it. So it, it's... I, I, it's still not clear to me. And as well, the most successful people in the world, they don't party, they just work. Well, I guess they party every once in a while just to network. But they practically don't party at all, if you think about it. They, every once in a while, like once a month, once every two months, they may go to a net big partying, that it's more of a networking event with cool people. So they can improve their whatever thing they do, their business or whatever their job is. So should should we actually party or not? I, I think and and more because I'm a teenager, so I'm like kind of uh it doesn't affect me, but teenagers they're usually pressured into partying. Like I can just say no, I don't care. But normal teenagers are really pressured into partying. Hmm. It's it's an interesting topic. But what are you gonna do? Just isolate yourself and not network at all and not make friends? Because sadly that's one of the biggest ways to make friends is at parties. Hmm. That's that's big. Hmm. I think you should party, not a lot, so around one time every two weeks, even like once a week, I think it would be decent as well, but no, because it screws up seven, three days out of your seven day week, so I think it's not worth it, so you're gonna have to party once every two weeks that will be a healthy number and it creates a connection with the group you go with so like me gustavo and max now we have a memory together because we went to freaking party together so in the future if we go to a lot of parties together this connection of the group is going to get stronger hmm. and you get to meet really cool people that's cool so that's really nice. Hmm. So if, you, but you waste time, and time is your most valuable asset. Ah, it's this. Oof, this is worse than a freaking math problem. Hmm. Oh well, my! My answer would be partying, but in moderation, like small amounts. Because as well, if you're a forty-year-old, you're not gonna be partying. So. What are you gonna be? If I'm a forty-year-old, I don't party. I've never seen my dad partying. Hmm. So then you may look back into your younger years and just regret not partying at all and not meeting cool people at all because you were just a big nerd. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. The answer has to be partying, but in small amounts, like in kind of moderation. But it's, st it's still not clear to me because the most successful people, they don't party at all. 
So it's mm, it's a big contradiction I have in my head. Oh yeah. What what do you think? L leave me what do you think in the comments. It's just an idea that came to my mind and as well I wanted to do a vlog, but since I woke up with freaking almost like I. <laughs> I was eating breakfast by the time I had to eat lunch. So I didn't have much time to do a great vlog. So I had to film like this, but let me know what you think and let, leave a comment. I want to talk about this. I'm not completely sure what should I do or what should teenagers in general do. But yeah, thank you for watching the video. Bye, see you tomorrow.